Hey guys, it's Vicki. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I am a full-time reseller on the Poshmark app and I make videos about my journey as a reseller. So today's video is going to be a haul from Goodwill, but this is going to be a Goodwill palette haul. So I bought a huge Gaylord palette from Goodwill, which is like if you go to the bins, they typically have these big cardboard boxes full of inventory. So these are unsorted unprocessed donations so raw donations they just throw them in these big boxes and they're selling them for fifty dollars technically it's forty you get a ten dollar credit if you bring back the palette and the box which I've done each time um, so yeah my mom bought the first one and I bought the last two and my garage was packed full but now it is starting to thin out a little bit I've got my car is packed full of stuff to go be redonated I took a a load of trash today as well there was a lot of trash and I personally don't donate trash if it's a, you know a puzzle that doesn't have all the pieces I throw it away I don't send it to Goodwill a lot of people do that um, so anyway let's go ahead I'm gonna start showing you some of these things alright so first what I'm gonna do is cut over to something I recorded earlier which were three pieces or four pieces that I have inside of my house that I brought in to go ahead and photograph yesterday I think with those items that'll pay for everything that we got so we spent I spent yesterday my mom spent 50 and then I spent 30 so that was $80 yesterday and today I spent 40 so it should be very easy to make 120 on the items that I have in the house so let's go ahead and cut to that so the first thing that was in the bag was this 11 C's it's anthrop what oh so the first thing that I got was this 11 C's uh, floral it's like a blazer and it's for anthropology it was just the only article of clothing that was in the bin or the palette at all and then I got these which are like wall sconce candle wall sconce is it sconces I guess that's how you say it they're really cute they're kind of like a boho look and then this Michael Kors Fulton wallet, which is 100% leather. It is authentic. And then we got this pretty picture, which I'm going to do something with. My mom said I should decorate my bathroom like that, so I might. And then here's all the jewelry. I will go through this at a later date. The one thing I did find in here was a Givenchy gold-toned necklace. It's like a vintage necklace, which is really awesome. But mainly... Uh, big clunky costume jewelry um, to give you an example we have stuff like this I, I don't even know <laughs> so yeah a lot of stuff like that and I'm gonna take you outside and let you see the garage okay so are you ready oh my gosh I think it's about to start raining too so this is not everything that I'm be reselling I'm still going through stuff um, this back corner over here, main, mainly trash. I've got to get that packed up and go ahead and take it to the dump. But a lot of cool stuff, and I'm going to sit down and I'm going to start showing you some things. But this is stuff that we got yesterday. This is what I got today, <laughs> and it's a lot of stuff. So I don't know how long this is going to take me. I'm probably going to cut this video into three parts, more than likely, but we will see. So stay tuned. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at some of these things. I'm not going to show you everything because there's a lot of little stuff and we'll be here all day. But I'm going to show you some of the main items that I have and go from there. Obviously, most of you who follow me know that I sell on Poshmark. So on Poshmark, you can sell clothing, which is mainly all I sell. But you can also sell household items, children's games. I think you can sell stuffed animals now. Um, so they made it to where you can sell a lot more on the app than just fashion items. And I'm also selling on Mercari. I don't really sell much on Mercari because I don't have a lot listed, but I'm definitely going to start listing a lot. I was also on eBay and I'm paying down my bill right now on eBay. Uh, so I'm not allowed to list <laughs> because I owe them some money and I'm a little late paying that bill. So once that gets paid, things will be going back on eBay and I have better sales on eBay when it comes to household items so all right let's go ahead and get into this little haul okay so also i live right by the hospital and so it's there's a lot of sirens all the time i just had to wait for them to pass so i could start the video over uh, but anyway let's go ahead and get started all right so the 
first thing I'm going to show you is a stuffed animal. So this is, it's Kitty Surprise. I don't know anything. I have not looked up these things yet. So some of these are probably not going to be listed and I'll just redonate them. But I'm going to show you what I think I'll be able to list these things for. And I'll actually put down here the amount that I think I will be able to get for them as I go through. Now I'm not going to show everything as I said, but the stuff that I'll show you I will try to find prices for. So this is a kitty surprise. It's like a stuffed animal. It's got like a hard little face. But the weird part is when you open up the middle where you would normally find batteries, there's baby kittens on the inside. So that's a little creepy. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's cute. Creepy, but cute. My daughter did not want it. So I said, well, I'll try to sell it. And it's an excellent shape. The next one is this FAO Schwartz. It's just a teddy bear. Like I said, I don't know if it'll do anything, but these are just some items that I pulled out while I was sorting. This is from Toys R Us. Um, it just says FAO, but it says Toys R Us on little tag. So it's got a little metal FAO uh, label on it. So just another one that I'm going to look up and I will put on the There's so much to choose from. I don't know which way to go. Okay, so okay, so the next thing that I picked up, which I've got, I don't know if this is paint on me or what, but it's all over the place. I'm gonna keep this laptop case because it's I have an HP and I don't have a case for it, so that's just a case. But inside of this case, there was a Wii, <laughs> and it's got all the cords, and I have a bag somewhere. I'm not really sure where I put it. Oh, right here full of the controllers, the just everything, the nunchucks, um, everything, the stand. So it's all in here. And I also have the exercise, um, what is it called? The little, this thing. Boop, that. So those were in the box. So that was a, a surprise. And there's something on it that's like putty or something and it's getting everywhere so I'm not going to mess with it anymore but yeah that was the first thing that I saw then I found this Canon Sure Shot it's a just a film camera 35 millimeter I guess and I don't even know I don't know my cameras my grandmother was the camera person um but yeah it's I guess it's 35 millimeter just a camera um we found some glasses. Now, I'm sure I can sell the frames, I'm assuming. I don't really know. These are prescription, obviously. They hurt my eyes. Um, this is M. Herald SQ. I don't know what that is. The brand on here says Marshawn NYC. So, I don't know if you, you probably won't be able to see that. But, it says Marshawn. Can you see it? M-A-R-C-H-O-N-N-Y-C. I'll look it up. It's got like a marble look to it. It's really cute. These are nice glasses. My daughter might end up actually wanting them. Heck, it might even be her prescription. There's no telling. You never know. Um, there's a lot of little things. I don't know what this is. Maybe somebody knows what it is. But there's this. And it's like... It reminds me of, like fool's gold type stuff. Maybe it is. It was just stored in this little baggie. So, I don't know. It would be nice if it was real gold. Um, there was some clothes, but not much. Just tech gear, which is like Walmart, I think. So, just a tech gear uh, pullover. There was two sets of leggings. Lo so, these were yoga pants, and these are denim jeggings. These are size small, medium, small, medium. Still new. I'll probably sell them on Poshmark. Um, nothing wrong with those. Uh, there was a skirt, which is a Kathy Lee Kmart. So just a paisley skirt. Then there was this black skirt, which is Chandler Hill, which I am not familiar with. Um, and then... This really cute apron, which I might just keep. I don't ever wear an apron because I rarely cook, but it's pretty. And I don't think I've ever seen anybody sell aprons on Poshmark, so I don't know. 
I'll look into it. We'll see. And while I'm here, I guess I should show you these candle holders that I found in the first box, my mom's box. So these are just some candle holders. It looks like mahogany, maybe. I don't know. Um, this one is really pretty. I collect tall candle holders like this. I like really unique looking ones. Um, I'm actually running out of room around my fireplace light to keep them up on the little step up, but some of these are cute and I feel like I need to keep one. So this one is just a black one. And if I do sell these, I would just sell them on Facebook Marketplace um, because I don't want to go through the shipping and all of that. Um, otherwise, I might keep them. I don't know. I'm going to become the crazy candle holder lady because I have so many candle holders and I don't have candles on them. So I actually need to buy candles to go with all that stuff. Okay. So there's a Casio, um, what does it say, electric calculator, tax exchange, 12 digits, I forget what these things are called, but anyway, one of these, I still have some paper. These are a pair of Anne Klein Sport Navy Ballet Flats, size 10, which is my size. I don't think I'll wear these, but you never know. They're just wrapped in plastic for some reason. They're brand new. They're in good shape. So probably sell those on the Poshmark too. Alright, so there is this XOXO purse. And it's just, I don't even think it's leather. I'm pretty sure it's just man-made materials. Um, there's some money in it. A penny. So this is polyurethane, so fake leather. It's got a little strap that goes over it. There's that. This is a JoJo uh Australia maybe that's what it says Joe and Joe Australia I don't know exactly what it is it needs to be cleaned up some but it it kind of reminds me of like a pencil holder for kids but I don't know cute though there is a mini Manny Pro which is everything's in the box I'll probably just keep this for personal use um keychain that works. So apparently somebody decided to get everybody and their family these for Christmas or their friends. I don't know. It says Merry Christmas. The Duboses. And it's got the people's name and it's just like a little keychain with a light which is it's interesting. I never thought about doing stuff like that for Christmas. It's actually a pretty good idea. Um, Alright. More stuffed animals. This, I'm not really sure what this is. Wiseman. W-E-I-S-S-M-A-N. And it's just got like a little ballerina. This is Build-A-Bear Workshop. And it's a little, what do you call these? It's a dinosaur bird. You know, I forget the name. But yeah, it's in great shape too. We have a Nine West bag with like a little fringe tassel thing going on. It's fake leather as well. Nine West does have a lot of cute stuff, but I don't spend money on it because I know it's not going to sell for a decent amount. So when I saw this bag, I immediately said, I'm going to take that palette. So I was like, well, there's bags, so maybe there's bags and clothes. Um, this one does have a little damage right here. It's torn. Um, you know, I'll probably list it as is and just list it for like five bucks or something like that. You know, I'm pretty sure it's not going to hurt me. <laughs> it's in good shape. I'm pretty sure this is fake leather as well. Let's see. It smells good. Oh, what is this? Oh, we got a rosary. Um, interesting. It's a beautiful rosary. There we go. So I guess I will, well I don't know, hold on to this. Um, 
I didn't check the pockets. <laughs> and there's some change, a quarter and a dime. And there's something else in this pocket. Toothpaste. Um, but yeah, so I'll probably just set it for like five bucks or something because it is ripped. But somebody who knows how to sew can easily sew that back up with some black thread. I might even be able to try and attempt to do it myself. We'll see. Alright. So, what else? There was this nice piece which I will probably keep. I like weird stuff like this. Um, I got some scrunchies that fell down in here. You can't ever have enough scrunchies. Alright, so there's a leg brace. I'm going to look it up. I don't know anything about leg braces. Um, it might just be redonated. So I found a bunch of little Thai Beanie Babies. Some of them, I don't, I'm not sure, like, this one's from 2015. And this one is from, this is Chloe, and she is from 2013. And then we've got, like, the one that you get, like, in the McDonald's meals. And then this one right here is a little bit older. This one's name is Slowpoke. And it's from 1999. So this is the oldest. <laughs> of the four but I decided you know anytime I find Beanie Babies I typically get them because my daughter does collect them and if I find a rare one obviously I'm going to sell it um, I have not found a rare one yet but my daughter has a ton of Beanie Babies and my boyfriend he said he used to collect them too and so he's got some as well more Beanie Babies. Okay, so we got a Vera Bradley, a little Vera Bradley purse. Um, it does have a little spot on the back that's ripped. Not ripped, but like worn through. So this will probably just five bucks as well. I'll make like a two dollar profit if anybody buys it. I might do free with your purchase or something. This is a 31. It's like a planner. And in here we have golf stuff. So there's golf balls in this, and then I have a basket of golf balls as well as some teas. So I don't know how golf stuff got, you know, does if there's like if people are picky about their balls. I don't know, but I will research it and find out because I might just sell it all in a big lot together because I don't know anything about golf. So um, I noticed that a lot of the balls had different like numbers on them, so I'm assuming maybe it's different weights. I don't know. All right, this is a Christmas decoration. There was a lot of Christmas decorations. This is a woo Sylvestri, and it's just this. So I don't. I almost just ripped it out and dropped it on the ground. Don't know anything about it, but maybe it'll bring money. So there's a lot of things that I'm going to keep. Um, I did find a good bit of stuff that will probably be okay to keep. Alright, so this is a sideline bag and leather. I don't know what school PC is. I'm sure it's something. Um, and I'm just PC. PC. I don't know. If you know what sports team this is, I'm assuming it's college team. Let me know. But this is an ID holder. Genuine leather. And it's new. It was $10.99. So there's that. There were some Adidas. I believe these are shin guards for little girls. Or little boys if they were pink. Um, so shin guards. There's two sets of Adidas shin guards. Um, I believe this was a soccer family. A lot of this stuff because there's a lot of soccer... Um, Picture frames, stuff like that, which I'm redonating because I've got enough picture frames as it is. Um, I did keep out some VHSs because I was just going to look them up. But this is in sync and it's on VHS. This is from 2000. Then I saw this, and I'm sure if you know what this is, comment below. Because when I saw the back of it, I immediately knew what it was because I watched it so many times growing up. But it's E.T. So <laughs> as soon as I saw that green, I was like, you, you just know it's E.T. Like, I saw this so many times. It brought back so many memories. I love this movie. 
Um, then we had some Walt Disney movies that were in the box. This one is that darn cat. Melody Time and Aladdin, which is a great movie as well. And I did look to see if they were that special diamond edition. Um, they're not. <laughs> All right. A little bit of random stuff in that one I'm not going to go through. This is a, this is from Belks. It is, I don't even know what brand it is, but it's cute. It's like a little baby sleeping on the moon and you turn it and it plays a song. So it's cute. Might sell it. Don't know yet. The baby has dimples. It's really cute. Okay. Um, I'm going to move my stuff over here now. I'm going to blocking myself in. Okay, so I have this other bag of stuff, which I sorted out first. When I say, so when I say I have a lot of stuff, I have a ton of stuff on this side, which is stuff that came from my mom's box, and as well as my second box. And then I have stuff over here. Okay, so this bag is a little heavy. All right. So it is raining outside. If you can hear the rain, I apologize, but I'm doing what I can. Um, this is a notebook, USB fan, probably nothing special. I did find this belt, which is a Giorgio Armani, which is a good brand. Um, this is an older belt, but it's got the, the label here. And it is this leather, I guess it's leather. Is it satin? Oh, well, it's leather. And then there's satin on the back. It does have some staining on the back. But I don't know. I'll probably still put it up for sale. And not sell it for a lot. I picked this up from my daughter. It's like a fuzzy phone case. And she has an older phone. I'm pretty sure this will fit her phone. But that's cute. <clears throat> there were a lot of um, placemat holders. These are, they have like cactus on them, another cactus, and then the other two is a long horn, which is missing one of the horns, and then a boot. Still cute. Alright, there were these, I don't know if this is a Fitbit. I'm not sure that this one is, but it's like a Fitbit. I don't even know how this one will charge, to be quite honest. Oh, well, I guess it doesn't need to charge. It works. So, I'll have to figure out what this is. Um, I don't know. But there's also the charger for the Fitbit that's in here, um, which I will get to in a minute. So, there were some DVDs. Um, Dukes of Hazard. This is a pair of Emerson uh, micro, what is it? Bin binoculars. Um, a good thermos coffee mug, I guess that's what I use when I drink my iced coffee. There's another movie on DVD. Some pretty, uh, napkin holders. I like those. Those are really cute. I might keep those. I'm trying to make a profit. I'm trying to keep everything, but... Alright, this is a magic wand, and when I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, a real magic wand. I've never, you know, seen one, and it's not what I thought it was. Apparently, it's a, a reader of pages. It is a, like a scanner for books, I'm assuming. So, it's got like the SD card and everything with it. It's kind of interesting. I didn't know they had these. My brother said, good luck selling it because it doesn't go for much. And he said he tried to sell one, he couldn't even sell it, so. I don't think he tried Mercari, though. You never know. Um, a lot of cords. I like to keep cords. We have a box inside full of random cords because you never know when you're going to need one. And it's nice to be able to just go to the box, find a cord, instead of having to go out and buy another one or order another one. Um... There were some plates, like decorative plates. Um, I thought this was cute for like 
I don't even know, like a candle holder, just a set of candle on maybe. And then this one is just a decorative plate that you would put on a stand. I was going to try them out on Poshmark. I'm not really sure how they'll do. I'm probably going to give this to my little girl. It's just like an easel and a art set. There is a weather machine from Radio Shack. It's the crystal controlled weather radio. And I, I guess it takes batteries or DC. Um, yeah, I don't know how that'll do. There was a Magic 8 Ball board game. Didn't even know these existed. I have a Magic 8 Ball, but I thought I bought it as a Magic 8 Ball. But this is, it comes with the 8 Ball and the game. So that's kind of cool. So much stuff. Okay. Um, I'll show you the Corkies. These are Corks by Corkies. They're in great condition. Almost like brand new. These are size 8s. And I'm going to get those listed on Poshmark tomorrow. Um, I could probably, I would say about $35 for these. I would, around that. Because typically they sell for a decent price. It is leather upper. There's a car radio. It's down here. I'm not going to pull it up. There's a lot of stuff in here. Um, here is the Fitbit. It's raised up a little bit, but it does have a spot where I can charge it. I'm assuming that's the right charger for it. I'll take it in the house and test it out. I also had a Kindle Fire. I'm charging it inside as well, um, but that was in here, which I know those don't go for a lot. Um, and then we have a CD player. So much, so much, I was about to say so much junk. It really is a lot of junk because I would not have these things in my house, so. Okay, so that's the first part of this video. There's a lot, there's a lot to go through. Um, and I will try really hard to go through some more tomorrow and record it. Um, I did find, just off the top of my head, I will tell you some things that I did find. Um, there was a Gavinci uh, vintage necklace, like a gold tone. I don't believe it's gold, but it's gold toned, uh, like a chain. Um, there was a pair of little baby Nike glasses, which were prescription, um, but somebody might want them for the frame. I don't know. Um, there were also... Oakley sunglasses, not sunglasses, but Oakley glasses in the Oakley case. Um, as, like I said, the frame, somebody may want the frame. Um, I'm going to have to look into that and see about selling glass frames. I've never done that before, but I, I, I'm assuming people buy just the frames and then have, um, you know, their eye doctor put the lens in. So, I will make another video here in the next day or two and have them uploaded on Saturday hopefully. I'm not sure what my work schedule is this weekend. This is my weekend to work. So when I find that out, which today is Wednesday, I'll find that out tomorrow. I'll know if I'm going to be able to upload a video on Saturday or not. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I apologize for the noises outside and I thought I saw a snake on my car. Anyway, have a great day. Take care and stay safe. Bye.